Welcome back to the Hannah Cash YouTube channel, and today I'm going to be reacting to the Directors Guild of America Awards winners and the Art Directors Guild winners. You know, uh, these are some of the bigger precursors that are coming later on, uh, leading up to the Oscars. A Directors Guild is especially important because this will truly see or prove to us, you know, who is winning best director at the Oscars and it's going to be Christopher Nolan. What, what, are, we, what are we kidding? Like, like my, I might as well give you my predictions, uh, since I didn't really do a video on them for, for a feature director. The winner is going to be Christopher Nolan. He, like Christopher Nolan is just going to sweep this entire season. I don't see how, like, again, even if Oppenheimer loses best picture, Christopher Nolan is still winning best director at the Oscars. First time feature is interesting because a lot of people are going with Celine song. And while I would like that, I think it's actually going to go to Cord Jefferson for American fiction because of how American fiction overperformed at the Oscars with Sterling K. Brown uh, getting in supporting actor and the movie getting in original score and then Past Lives somehow underperformed with uh, Greta Lee not getting nominated for lead actress. But then there's the documentary category and I forget his name, but I think it's probably going to, going to go to the director of 20 Days in Mary Upal. I'm guessing that's a front runner right now, but who knows what will happen. For the Art Directors Guild Awards, uh, I believe contemporary film, like production design in a contemporary film is going to go to Saltburn. For period film, I believe it's, you know what, it's, it's tough because both of the front runners Poor Things and Barbie are in fantasy film. The period film category is really kind of up in the air. Right now, I am think, I, I want to say Killers of the Flower Moon, but I don't know. What if they just go for Oppenheimer? Because, you know, look at last year. They went nuts for Everything Everywhere all at once. And Everything Everywhere won Best Fantasy Film Production Design over Avatar The Way of Water, despite the fact that Avatar got the, got the Oscar nomination for Production Design and Everything Everywhere didn't. But... That was because Everything Everywhere was such a huge contender. Is Oppenheimer going to do that? I don't know. Maybe. I might just go ahead and say Oppenheimer wins period film production design because they just love the movie that much. And for fantasy film, it's going to be really tough between Barbie and Poor Things. I still think it might just go to Barbie. I think they might just fall in line and go with Barbie. If Poor Things wins... Oh, wow. And then for animated film production design, I might go for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. I was considering Boy and the Heron. I don't think a 2D animated film has ever won this category. If it did, if the Boy and the Heron did win, that would be insane. I think that would show an insane strength for the Boy and the Heron. <laughs> Whoa! Holy! Oh my God! Oppenheimer won period film at the Art Directors Guild Awards. Oh, <laughs> let's see what BAFTA does. I want to see what the BAFTAs do. Right now I'm predicting Oppenheimer to win nine Oscars, which would already put it as number three in terms of like the most Oscar wins ever. But now it has a legitimate shot to win a production design considering it beat Killers of the Flower Moon, which I did predict. Again, I want to look at the BAFTAs and see if Oppenheimer can still beat poor things and Barbie because that would be nuts. Oh shit. Another award I got right. Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse wins uh, best production design in an animated feature film at the Art Directors Guild Awards. That's two for two so far. Am I going to get all these right? I'm wondering. Oh my God. Three out of three. Three out of three. Let's go. The DGA award for best documentary directing goes to the guy who directed 20 Days of Mary Upol. I I'm so sorry. I, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but my God, three for three so far. I'm still thinking 20 Days in Mary Upal is our Oscar frontrunner. I mean, for best documentary feature. I mean, it, like, it still seems very relevant to what's going on today. Oh boy, another award I got right. Saltburn wins the Art Directors Guild Award for Contemporary Film. Man, I am on a roll. Four out of four so far. Am I, like, man... But then again, I guess it makes sense because Saltburn was the one that was most likely to get the Oscar nomination. I really want to know if I, if I can get fantasy film right and debut director. Uh-oh, I, I heard some news that uh, my streak is over. Ah! 
Man, yep, uh, the DGA award for first time director goes to Celine Song for past lives. I guess I'm not really disappointed in like the winner itself. It's just like, man, my streak is over. Like, I thought it was gonna be Cord Jefferson. Cause again, like it overperformed. So yeah, you know, uh, can't get them all right. So I guess my streak is over. Eh. Oh shit. Poor things beats Barbie for fantasy production design at the art director's guild. Oh my God. Poor things actually won. God, what's winning the Oscar? Cause I was checking the stats and critics choice is usually more right than BAFTA. Uh, or, you know, at least they match up with the Oscars more than BAFTA, but oh my God. God, I thought it was just gonna be like the Black Panther situation because Black Panther, you know, but then again, Black Panther didn't compete with the favorite at the Art Directors Guild. Like, because Black Panther was in fantasy film and the and the favorite was in uh, period film. But this time Barbie and Poor Things were competing in the same category. So it's like, it's really, really tough. Like what in the world is going to win? And there we go, Christopher Nolan wins the Director's Guild Award for Feature Film Directing. Again, no shit, of course this was going to happen. Oppenheimer did pretty well tonight. I mean, obviously, yeah, it was going to win at the DGA. But beating Killers of the Flower Moon at the Art Director's Guild. Like, in a category where it was kind of expected for the Killers of the Flower Moon to take it. I'm still thinking about that production design thing. Like, what's going to happen in production design? Between BAFTA and Critics' Choice, Critics' Choice usually aligns with the Oscars more often. But what if we are just setting ourselves up for, like, a scenario with split votes between Poor Things and Barbie, and then it allows Oppenheimer to win production design at the Oscars? Again, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to say that, but you can't say it's a clear path for Barbie. I mean, it was never going to be a clear path because it was BAFTA. <sighs> God, it's tough. Ever since 2010, it seems like uh, the Art Directors Guild has only disagreed with the Oscars or, you know, not aligned with the Oscars three times. Last year, with All Quiet on the Western Front, 2012, when Lincoln won the Oscar, and 2010, when Alice in Wonderland won the Oscar. Like, do I still say Barbie? Do I still say, you know, poor things? I guess I want to see what the BAFTA does. But again, it's just that the Critics' Choice Awards tend to disagree with the Oscars less. Because even last year, you know, Black Panther Wakanda Forever lost Best Fantasy Costumes at the Costume Designers Guild to Everything Everywhere All at Once, but then Black Panther ended up, you know, Wakanda Forever ended up winning the Oscar anyway. So maybe it might still be Barbie. Big day for Oppenheimer. Again, winning two awards. Again, we all expected it would take director at DGA, but the fact that it beat Killers of the Flower Moon and Napoleon at the Art Directors Guild Awards for period film production design is pretty major. But now I want to pass the question off to you. What do you think of the winners for the Directors Guild Awards and the Art Directors Guild Awards? Let me know in the comments below what you think and consider hitting that subscribe button because if you don't, you are going to be a poor thing.